Say the voice of an archangel. The voice of an archangel. Notice what he says. He says, with the trump of God, with the voice of an archangel, a mixture of the voice and the trumpet. He says, that combination is the only one the dead can hear. I knew you were not, we were not gonna get this. It is telling us that the dead can only hear the voice of an archangel. It, it now stands to reason why the dead people never rise. And a few of resurrections taking place in the church today. Because what we lack as Christians is the coding of the voice of an archangel. But imagine he's saying the last trumpet shall sound. Yet we never heard this last second last trumpet. You cannot tell us there is this last trumpet as if I know the first trumpet. Do you know the first trumpet? Have you heard the second one? What about the second last? Do you know how many trumpets were there before the last one? So how am I going to hear the last one? When I don't know the second last trumpet. The dead will rise first. When they hear the last trumpet. But notice, we don't hear the last trumpet. We are hearing the echo of the last trumpet. Because the last trumpet is heard by the dead and they rise. We hear the, the echo of the trumpet. Because the sound of a trumpet is only for the dead situation. Those who have heard me preach several times. I always say this in the name of Jesus. By the voice of an archangel. And none of you ever asked your question, why is he always saying by the voice of an archangel and he's not an archangel? It's because my vocalization as a prophet is in the same sound wave. Most people never ask, why is it that when prophet is praying, he always says by the voice of an archangel? Because voices are different and men of God and women of God are not created equal. Have you not read? That Jesus took John the Baptist's members. John had a ministry. Jesus brought a ministry. And the disciples of John ran to Jesus. And Jesus never said, go back to your church. Do you understand something here? That the voice of an archangel is the one that can raise the dead. So the issue is with the sound. But why sound? I want to teach you something. But I'm trying to get there by saying something. In the garden, there was the tree of good and evil. It was one tree. No, no, they, they're missing it. It is a tree of good that would lead to evil. I know your mindset is there was a tree for good and a tree for evil. No, one tree. The other tree you are confusing for good is called the tree of life. So there was the tree of life, then the tree of good, knowledge for good, and what? One tree with both good and evil. The idea was not that the fall of Adam made the men and the world to fall. No. The world was already fallen. Ooh. Because in the generals in the Old Testament were all employing the power of the sound of an archangel that they began to live lives as if they were in the New Testament. Imagine Moses being reminded to go and die. Imagine when a man continues to live until the creator says, I think you need to go. Go unto Mount Nebo, unto Mount Abarim, 
And Moses said to do what he said to die. Imagine that life was lived by a man in the Old Testament. How much more you? Do you realize you, you are not? All right, let me see. I don't subtract Ephron That miracles come by you vocalizing the voice and the vocal cords of an archangel. But that's what you lack. They understood that they were voice calls that could be listened to, to by creation. A sound of an archangel. That the Old Testament people were powerful, but they were not supposed to be as powerful as us. So there is a significance. Every sound is without, there is no sound without signification. In other words, every sound you speak has a chord. You might not just think you are dancing to R and B. That beat that signifies R and B from pop is being responded to. The question is, are these angels dancing to it or demons? I knew you were not getting me. If the Bible says the voice of an archangel, that means any voice according to scripture has a meaning in the spiritual realm. So even if you stand here and go like, mm, 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 without even humming words, there is a demon going like, he's saying this. He's saying something. He just sent us to his money. Mm -hmm. He's just sent us to collect his money. This is why when you start singing things that are gem dangerous, demonic stuff, you begin to act like the song you listen to. Do you know how many, how many children are born under Al Kelly? They didn't get it. So they got to a point where they were no longer calling. They were now calling him under the tetragrammaton. As if it's just a spelling. But they would die. Some would live. Some would die. And guess what? The New Testament fails to contain the name that could kill them. Then in the New Testament, it says, and Then Jesus was given a name. Ah! Which is this name? The name that they killed. The name that killed the prophets is now with us now. Ah! So what is the name that they forgot in the Old Testament? Jesus. Yeshua. That is the name you now think is Yahweh. The name you call Jehovah in the Old Testament is the name Jesus. But when they would call it, they would die. Have you read of Samson with a jawbone? How he killed soldiers with a jawbone. And the Bible says when he was done, he threw away the jawbone. Ah, what is the importance of that information? Yesterday's weapon cannot be today's weapon. We can speak using the voice of an archangel. And miracles will take place. Ah, Jesus was given a name. Ah, which is this name? The name that they killed. The name that killed the prophets is now with us now. Ah! So what is the name that they forgot in the Old Testament? Jesus. Yeshua. That is the name you now think is Yahweh. In the spiritual realm. That's why I always say he reached out into nothing. Because he had not created the nothing to reach out to. Then he kept something out of nothing because there was nothing he had created to keep something from. Then he made the earth out of nothing and told it to stay there. Yet there was no there for the earth to remain because he had not created the there for the earth to remain. Ah! Then he told it, stay there, don't move. And the earth said, yes boss, we will stay there. I know there is no there, but we are here. I know a God that makes a man and nobody is made somebody out of a nobody to tell everybody about a somebody who can save anybody to become a somebody is in the same sound wave. A good news world with Hubert Angel, provoking a reaction and always worth hearing.